what colas don't count now this new bill is going to benefit around 43 million beneficiaries truly exciting news i'm really excited to share with you what it exactly means for you social security ssi ssti this is a really really important video for all the social security recipients watch this video till then colas don't count yes you heard it right what it exactly means this new bill is going to benefit around 43 million beneficiaries so this is a big one most of the time colas don't count properly take any historical cola event let's say into the year 2023 8.7 percent the rate of the inflation was still high enough than the cost of living adjustment so what's the point now you know how the cost of living adjustment increases work it's often lead to reduction in your benefits it's a cycle that we have seen play out every single year now the true purpose of the cost of living adjustment cola adjustment those are meant to cover the rising cost of living and not to negatively impact your benefits watch this video till then to find out what's really going on right here into the congress and how it will be going to impact your benefits so without further ado let's jump right into all the details all right guys so this is kind of an uncertain and busy time where we are seeing lots of uncertainty right here into the congress where nothing much is happening but here's the thing guys this one is a really positive change for about 43 million beneficiaries social security beneficiaries and how it will be going to impact your monthly benefits today i'm going to explain and break it down all the details and yes we are talking about bill right here into the congress that could bring down some positive changes to approximately 43 million beneficiaries i'll explain how this bill might impact your monthly benefits and money that you'll be going to receive in the future and you know how the cost of living adjustment increases often work they are designed so that beneficiaries can get the benefit as per the rising high rates of the cost of living that's about the inflation but here is the thing guys most of the time colas don't count properly take any historical cola event where you have received let's say into the year 2023 you have received 8.7 percent in 2022 you have received 5.6 percent cost of living adjustment but you know what at that particular year the rate of the inflation was still high enough than the cost of living adjustment so what's the point now you know how the cost of living adjustment increases work it's often lead to reduction in your benefits now the true purpose of the cost of living adjustment cola adjustment those are meant to cover the rising cost of living and not to negatively impact your benefits the sole purpose of the cost of living adjustment is so that beneficiaries can get the rising cost of living those additional amount of expenses and that should not negatively impact their finances that's the true purpose of the cola so without further ado let's deep dive into what this exactly means the colas don't count act and the purpose of this one is kind of a simple so let me deep dive into all the details make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel as this one is a truly exciting news i'm really excited to share with you especially if you're a low income fixed income beneficiaries of social security retirement disability ssdi survivors ssi va or snap beneficiaries i've got some juicy details everything you need to know right here in this video so straight up let's dive down into all the details all right guys so here is what's all the buzz about all right so this one revolves around a groundbreaking bill which is currently making its way through the congress now i have got to say that it's nothing short of a thrilling ride and this legislation has true potential to bring about a positive change to change the lives of approximately 43 million low income and fixed income beneficiaries so in that regards this is a big one that's truly something really i'm really excited to share with you all right now have you ever felt that rush of the joy when annual cost of living adjustment cola is announced well it's that moment when you realize that your benefits are going to increase forever colas are the permanent thing those cola increases are permanent that you receive from moving on for the next years but hold on for a moment it's often
often followed by frustration because your SNAP benefits might take a hit due to the SCOLA increases. Yes, it's a cycle that we have seen play out each and every year, every single year. Now, here is the thing, and that's where the COLAs don't count act comes in handy. Now, this is the hero of our story, the COLAs don't count act. Now, basically, this one is a bill with a simple but a powerful mission to ensure that the COLA adjustment don't count as your income and therefore you don't negatively impact your SNAP benefits. Cool, isn't it? Now, you see, COLA increases are meant to help you to keep up with the rising cost of living, things like utility, bills, housing, other expenses, and groceries. That's the sole purpose of it. Now, let's clarify something really important about cost of living adjustment COLA. COLA is not intended to make you rich in any way, shape, or form. On the other side, it certainly shouldn't lead to significant reduction in your SNAP benefits. Its sole purpose is to help you maintain your standard of living by adjusting your income to match the increased cost that life throws you due to the inflation. But here is the thing guys, the reality is completely different. Unfortunately, here is the harsh reality. Between the annual increases into the Medicare Part B premiums and the adjustment to your SNAP benefits, most of the beneficiaries end up with less amount of money each year compared to what they have gained from the cola and it's like a double hit that hits your finances really really hard but now let's shift our focus to the dude and that's where the colas don't count act comes in handy let's shift our focus back to the colas don't count act now this will i would have to say this will is a game changer lawmakers behind it are saying that cola should not be considered as your income and therefore you should not and therefore it should not receive now the lawmakers behind the Scola Stone Count Act are saying that Cola should not be considered as your income and therefore it should not reduce your SNAP benefits. Now it's a subtle but a crucial shift into the policy that could make a world of a difference for millions and millions of beneficiaries. Now I know you must be wondering is this too good to be true? Well, well it's not a far-fetched dream. This bill was introduced few months ago and here is where the exciting part comes in. It hasn't been discarded like many of those other bills packages reforms it's still onto the table and lawmakers are giving one and now and right now lawmakers are giving it attention and it truly deserves the attention because snap benefits is like 43 million beneficiaries receive the snap benefits and that's where that's the reason why it's gaining a lot of traction and it's a sign that talking about the concerns of the low income and the fixed income beneficiaries and they are taking those matters very seriously. So what we can do to support this transformative bill? Well, first and foremost, if you haven't yet already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to hit that like part so that you can so that, so you can stay up to date with latest update developments. Now, each and every year, I see this frustration from millions and millions of beneficiaries. Picture this, you receive your annual cost of living adjustment and it feels like a great, great thing. And your benefits are going up but then your joy quickly fades away because you realize that your snap benefits are about to take a hit it's basically a cycle of excitement and frustration that comes out shortly after that now here is the thing guys the true but but that's where the kulas don't act but that's where the kulas don't contact comes in handy onto the horizon now this hope comes in into the form of the kulas don't contact simple yet powerful bill that aims to change the game for low income and fixed income beneficiaries the idea is straightforward the cola adjustment should not be considered as your income and therefore they should not lead to reduction to your snap benefits now you might be wondering what's the big deal well here's the backstory now right now this bill is introduced and it makes me wonder are they really paying attention now let me clarify one thing this now let me clarify one thing this bill won't bring about a dramatic change dramatic transformation overnight we shouldn't expect a windfall of let's say $300 or $100 every month. Well, what it could do, although, is it can add up to $20, $30 or $50, maybe $80 to your SNAP benefits each and every month. Now, it's like a modest win-win situation. Then it's like a modest win-win, but a win nonetheless. While there are certain
certainly more comprehensive pieces of the legislation which can do even more in terms of benefit increases but we must remember that every bill but we must remember that even a small victory is still a victory and anything that stops the erosion of the benefits reduction of the benefits help preserve is worth celebrating now this bill is genuine now this bill is genuinely gaining a lot of traction while it hasn't yet passed but here is the thing it's very very promising it's a while it hasn't been yet passed it's still a promising step forward and once i get and once i get any latest details i'll keep you posted thank you so much for watching this video make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel to stay up to date and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video